Hi, welcome to Abraham Lincoln Unitarian Universalist Congregation's Time for All Ages. I'm the Director of Religious Education here at ALUUC, Pat Woods, and today we're going to be talking about time. Now, I don't know how you feel about it, but on days like today, when we have to spring ahead and lose an hour, I always feel like I'm running out of time. But you know something? I feel like that on other days. It's just that this day really brings it to the forefront. I mean, gosh, there's so much to do. There's school and all the work that's associated with that. And there are sports and all the games that we like to play and the teams that we might be on and the activities that we like to do. There's our arts, our painting, our music, our drama, our drawing, all of that kind of thing. And for some of us, there's even pets and dogs and cats and birds and horses and goats and chickens. And oh my goodness, it just gets crazy. Sometimes it can feel like we're really struggling to keep all the balls that we're trying to juggle in the air. And we just feel like we're running out of time. So what do we do when it gets to be too much? Well, if we're not having any luck keeping those balls juggling the way that they need to be, then we need to stop and look at what's really important. And then we need to prioritize that. I find that making a list of things I wanna do each week or each day and putting them in the order they need to get done really works out well for me. I've also found that if I do the things I've got to do first, and then I have a little celebration when I get each one of those done, it's much less painful to have to do those things. Sometimes it might be a piece of candy, it might be a piece of fruit, it might be a dance, it might be listening to a favorite piece of music, but there's some reward that I give myself at the end. I also make sure that I schedule at least one thing every day that brings me joy or peace. That could be as simple as doing a crossword puzzle or taking the dogs for a walk or listening to one of my favorite musical artists or reading something. The thing that makes us happy is what we need to do. And one of the biggest things, and boy, this was hard for me, was learning to say no. I, I can't do that additional thing. I'm overwhelmed. I've just got too much that I have to do. And that can be hard especially when somebody who's older than we are or somebody who's a little more powerful than we are says to us, hey, I really need you to do this thing. I found that the easiest way to address that is I'd really like to help out, but I just don't have time. That's so much better than trying to add one more ball and then ending up dropping all of them. And I know it's not cool or awesome or really innovative or anything, but doggone it, the simple to-do list has really helped me handle my time. It's, it's a lot of fun to check things off, and I don't get everything on my to-do list checked off every day. Sometimes I have to carry things to the next day or even the day after. Sometimes the thing doesn't get done because something else becomes more important. And sometimes I ask the people around me for a little bit of help making sure that I'm available to help them when they need my help. Although I still say no when it's too much and I just can't do it. So yeah, to some degree, we're always going to be working in a time crunch. But the important thing is not to let that crush us. We need to make sure that we do what we can to, to make time work for us, even on days like today when we've lost an entire hour. So take care of yourselves out there, take care of folks out there, and I'll see you all next week for our Time for All Ages. Bye-bye.